And now we're heading to Toledo Bend, next stop of the Elite Series. Yeah, south is a little bit of water. Yep, it's got about uh, 22,000 square miles. Figure them out. Why is it all wet? Because of the tornadic activities that happened yesterday. Lido Ben, day one of practice. It's gonna be bumpy. First couple days have been kind of random. Uh, found found some fish, uh, a little bit of a shad spawn, a little bit of what? Flipping fish. Uh, just nothing super consistent where I felt like I was dialed in yet. So. Freaking choked the Terminator walking frog. Final day of practice on Toledo, and we're back here. Kind of, I don't know, I'd say like halfway back into Housing Creek. I kind of got on a late bite on a on a bladed jig yesterday afternoon, and I wanted to try to expand on that a little bit. See if we can develop something. Gosh, he choked it. <laughs> I think I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> I think I know what I'm gonna do. Morning, day one here at Toledo Bend. We're about to get kicked off. A little bit windier than we're Ready expecting, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, decent practice, kind of random, but I think I got a game plan. So we're gonna stick with that and see what happens on day one. Right there, baby. Nice work. Talking about. What's your current froth level? It's up here. <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Oh gosh. Stay on there, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Say put another one in the boat, baby. Oh, man, five pounds right there, man. I got on one little deal that I felt like I might be able to catch a decent bag. And I, I went out this morning, said if I catch 18, I'll be happy. You know, I had a couple, two big ones today that really Let's helped. Jump again. I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Okay. Toledo Bend's one of my favorite lakes in the entire country. Same grass patch. And it's never fished the same every time we've been here. Solving the puzzle so far. Corner right. Okay. We're seeing how it works out from Boca, Florida. How are you doing, Brandon? Good. Good luck. Thank you. Well, well how'd that go? It was actually a little less than what I thought we had. A couple of those were super skinny, so. Uh, yeah, we had just under 20, 19, 13. It's a good start. I said we'd be happy with 18. We're in second right now. I'm sure we'll bump down, but we should stay up in the top 10 probably by the time this thing's over, I'm thinking. 
We'll see what happens tomorrow. We just gotta keep getting those big bites. Yeah, that app doesn't work very well here because there's no service. He got his lure stuck on the bottom on a log. I was shaking it. Trailer hook. Trailer hook. He's getting wet. He's gonna. He doesn't he doesn't think he has any more of that one. That was the money bait day two. But it started off slow yesterday. We only had one fish, I think, before nine o'clock. So, just gotta have faith, man. Just keep bouncing around. Gosh. <laughs> gotta have faith. I know that everybody, I know that everybody has got a buddy like yeah. me. So I, I really need to make a top 12 here. I've made the 50 cut every single time we've been to Toledo, but I'm yet to make a 12 cut. I finished 13th before the first time we were here. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. I learned a couple things this afternoon that I hope I can apply to tomorrow and make a big charge. Love to see it, Brandon Pollard. Right about, right about what we thought we had, 13-11. So we got some ground to make up now. I guess. Dang, man. We made it to day three here at Toledo Bend about 50 degrees, a little bit of a breeze, which gets me excited. Looking forward to getting back out there today. We've got a wind direction switch, so it's gonna be blowing a little bit out of the south, which should help the area that I've been fishing. We're gonna change it up, start in a different area this morning, since I haven't been getting a lot of bites, see how that plays out, and then uh, see if we can't make a run at fishing on Sunday. One in the box. It's a little better. There's still a lot of fish that use it. It's just a really special, unique area. It's a real shallow flat with a bunch of water willow that's got these little ditches that run into it. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Giant dude. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. That's what I'm gonna see too. So, what I was trying to tell you guys is that, like when you look right here, there's these little ditches and if you actually look at the 360 or the side imaging, you can see there's these little ditches that lead in from the main, main creek channel and they roll up on this flat and in the mornings, those big ones, they pull up in these ditches and they get up on the sides and they feed on shad. There we go. He'll be close. He keeps, it's number three. What? Well, because I stuck it on there, and I always keep five, and then that lets me know that I've got four. I thought that was number three. Just kidding, it's number four. 
you get to catching them and sometimes you forget that uh, you may have caught one or something. And so I always keep five coal tags on there. That way I know how many fish I got in there. It's just kind of an insurance policy because I've screwed up before. If you have six fish in your liable, it's a two pound penalty. Number five. We got a limit. We'll just go fishing now. Giant. Stay on there. Giant, dude. Oh my gosh, please stay on there. Oh golly. Which way you wanna go? Dude, this is a freaking giant. Oh gosh, stay on there. Please, 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 please. Yes! Bam, baby! Dude, look at that thing. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Sunday day for you. Dude, we working on them. That's a six pounder, man. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Come <laughs> on. Oh, 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 oh. oh paid off. Mm. Dude, I'm fired up. Gosh dang, that's a freaking big one. Mm, I'm freaking pumped up, dude. I'm shaking so freaking bad. Oh my gosh, man. Dang right. I knew when that one boiled, that was a big one. Gosh dang it, man. How freaking sweet is that? Crazy, man. That's two giants right here in this little ditch. Dude. 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 Oh, Freaking kidding me, man. Hold on a second here. One, two. Dude, that might be the freaking biggest mistake ever. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Trip. Just wanted to go ahead and let you know you should deduct two pounds from my weight because my six fish was a six pounder and I made another cast. All righty. So. All right, man. You were reduced down with the, with the live fish of your choice, right? Yeah, I'm about to call right now, just the smallest one out. Okay. So. All righty. All righty. Thanks, Yep. Bye. That might have cost me the cut and a W right there if we keep catching them. So I get for not keeping my cool. I won last time I did that. Did your fish catching go down after that moment, after your momentum at uh, rock bottom? I kind of got things back together. Uh, ran around, caught a bunch of fish, just cold up a couple times, and then I made a really good decision and ran to actually at two o'clock to where I had been catching them the last two days. I don't know if that's a fish or grass. That's a fish. Oh, oh giant. Giant. That's the one we need. That's the one we need right there.
No. No, you little sucker. Come here. I got that one. Yeah! Woo! We got a pretty good sack today. Now we're even for our screw up. I'm so freaking pumped up right now. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be the right call. Getting up here, those big ones should pull up and feed when that wind gets going up on these flats and that's exactly what's happening. Set fighter, yeah, yeah. They're like 19, but I made a cast with a six fish, so I got 17. It's a nerv little nervous to see what we got. Thinking about that two pound penalty quite a bit, man. I think we're gonna have enough to make the 12 cut and fish tomorrow. We're just gonna have to, uh, you know, get our mind right tonight, not worry about that two pounds and just go out and catch as much as we can tomorrow. Take the lead, 17 pounds and an ounce. Who's in the second place for 50 pounds and nine ounces? Man, that's the second time I've done that, and I, I just got way too fired up. I'm one of those guys that loves fishing, has fun out there, and gets really excited. I caught my biggest one today, a five and a half pounder. It was my sixth fish, and I just got so fired up. They were biting good. I stood up, made another cast, realized I had six fish, called trip. That happened to you once before. Yeah. I forget what tournament was that, but how did that work out? How did you finish in that tournament? I did win that derby. Oh, <laughs> that may be your pattern. Let's hear it from Brandon Pollock. Thank you. Uh, I think I'll make it, but I would like to be an ounce away from the lead instead of two pounds in an ounce. A former Bass Nation national champion, not one, but two times Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Rastrum, Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. I thought that fish, that screw up my cost us making the top 12, but we're sitting in fifth. Now we gotta go do some interviews. So I decided to start in a new area, a place I hadn't fished since the first morning. I kept telling myself today, like, you're not out of it. Yep. You're my fave. Yes. <laughs> Thank How many you. cameras are on that phone? I love yes. being the favorite. Well, here we go. Uh, championship Sunday at Toledo Bend. We're gonna start out doing the same thing we did yesterday. It worked out well. We caught the majority of our weight in there. It's working out pretty good. It's been really good so far. I had one hiccup at Okeechobee, but I'm looking forward to getting out there today. You can't win unless you're fishing Championship Sunday, and here we are. Good one. He might keep keep number one in the box. You see that when I hooked that fish? It was like two or three more blew up in there with it. Not much. Got the back. Got it. Three in a row. Four in a row. Four in a row. They're still moving around in there. <laughs> Calm down a little bit. <laughs> Getting all fired up. We're doing a hit on the end of the dock, and all I heard in my ears, we got to go. Brandon Paul that keeps catching them. <laughs> How did your morning go? My morning was an absolute blast. There must have been 40 fish in a grass patch smaller than this stage, and they just kept biting and biting and biting and biting. And I won't be close. That's a limit. So I just decided to stay in there all day. Brother, stay live, we'll give you a fish. On fire. Quarter. Gosh dang it. Capture me a turtle. I did not mean to do that, little buddy, I'm sorry. Down. She's got it choked. Yes! Boom! That's the bite we needed right there. Oh, dude. Knocked my freaking push pole in the water, but it's okay. It's not deep enough. It's right there. Yes! 
today got to be on Bassmaster Live and uh, looks like John Murray is probably gonna win which couldn't happen to a better guy super pumped for him he's got three absolute giants so I'm gonna go talk to him real quick Proud 24 pounds <laughs> 